So I woke up this morning with a, what I see as a pretty straightforward goal. I had had a dream. The dream had involved reconciling some of my relationships. I, it took place in the parking lot of my childhood home. So I have my own suspicions of what that might mean, but I wanted to get some sort of resource. I wanted to check, you know, what people on the internet, experts on dream interpretation, psychologists, spiritualists might say about what the childhood home means and what the various parts of the childhood home mean and what the driveway might mean. So I plug it into the Google search engine. I, I, I enter it into my address bar, childhood home, dream, analysis, interpretation, whatever. What I get is at least five pages, not sites, but pages of sites, Top seven interpretations of what childhood home might mean in a dream. Okay. And you get the kind of standard backwash. Okay, that wasn't very helpful. It's, it's like, oh, it might have something to do with development, growing up. It might have something to do with memories or coming to terms with bringing new information to old understanding. Okay, all right. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay. How about like a little more depth? Next one, same exact thing. It might say it's uh, 11 possible explanations for what the dream means. Okay, so I, I, I'm going down, and, I, and, and while this is going on, of course, I'm getting spammed with like, make your dick bigger, uh, how to get $100,000 a week and with no effort. Uh, you know, do you wanna buy a condom? How to shrink your prostate in 12 minutes. Are your boobs too small? So I'm getting spammed with ads, with garbage, the pop-up window that you can't just press escape and it shouldn't be there in the first place. Create a login so we can steal your data. Please make sure your browser accepts all cookies and all data stealing and all session. Oh, okay, I'll just let it take my soul from me. So yeah, everybody knows garbage websites. We've all been there. Usually they say ad, they're marked that they are garbage websites in some sort of way, but not anymore. Now you get a stack of about 10 ads that are garbage websites, and then the rest of the internet is also garbage websites. I was not able to find anything from a human being. And this was not the first time this has happened. Uh, I, I've noticed this for about a year now. Hmm, about since ChatGPT's been available. Now, what could that mean? Well, you're a company and you make websites. How do you do it? You tell ChatGPT to do it. How does ChatGPT do it? It searches the internet for information, distills it into a semblance of what it once was with several mistakes, and then it'll cranks out something that is identical in character, but not in substance, not in style, not in tone. It is anti-human, it, it's plastic garbage, it's CG. It is unpleasant to visit these websites because they are profit-driven corporate nonsense with all the requisite spams and garbage and data tracking. And this is all that exists on Google anymore, and you don't really get the information that you're looking for. So I'm all about the AI revolution, Ostensibly, I just don't like the way that human beings use it, and I don't like the legalities behind it and the lack of regulation and legislation that's allowing this to happen. So these companies produce that website, they get the domain, they have AI write a website for them, they fill it up with commercial garbage. The AI is able to make amazing search engine optimization so that it'll be at the top of your Google search results. So that there's nothing on Google except for sites like this. For about 20 years, I kind of considered it a golden age. I, I did not take it for granted. I thought it was a really beautiful thing. You heard me say it a lot, that we could just go and retrieve any information we want. Google nailed it. Now everybody's trying to transition to AI. And AI has replaced the former role of the internet. A particularly funny thing occurs, too, when you consider that ChatGPT's source is the internet. So as it pumps out more garbage fake websites, that becomes its information source. It is regurgitating into itself and blocking out all of human knowledge and information and wisdom from reality. 
On Google first, it was very apparent a switch was flipped and now searching doesn't work. You can't get information anymore. You can only get sold things. So what do you imagine will happen next? Well, I'm a company and I need more influence. So I'm going to have AI generate my YouTube videos, my Reddit posts. I'm going to have my AI editing Wikipedia, but it's just a copy of a copy of a copy. It's mommy vomiting into a baby's mouth, vomiting into a bird's mouth, vomiting into a worm's mouth until it's literally nothing but buy stuff that you don't actually want, that you won't buy. And I hope you guys aren't buying it. I don't know what to do about this. I don't see it going away. I see it getting worse. And that's a dangerous thing. We've already noticed the echo chamber effects of my era of internet, that it amplifies stupidity and bias and incorrectness. But this is a new thing where it's homogenizing information into hot garbage, into ad heavy, search engine optimized, treat you like a baby, pander to the stupid, silly humans, apologize for your mistakes, but don't stop making them. Okay, so search engines are dead. Now what? Well, do what they do. Go to the AI. Go to ChatGPT, for example. There's a lot of them now. I go to ChatGPT. I ask my question, what does a dream of, a, of the childhood home mean, in particular the driveway, in particular with a source of trauma present from the present day? And it gives me the exact same thing that the websites gave me. It's, it's just kind of garbage. It's not good information. I have a friend who has GPT-4 and pays for it, not, not exactly cheap, and they get good information. I asked Chat GPT public, free, how can I clip videos from YouTube and put them on TikTok, for example? GPT told me, I can't assist you with that, period. My friend has a paid subscription, GPT-4, so giving them money, feeding the monster. It answered the question correctly. You see the business model here, you can't have your information, mankind, unless you pay Elon Musk for it. Unless you pay Jeff Bezos for it. <laughs> in order to know about reality, in order to obtain information, you have to pay the very, very richest of people more money to use an intellectual property that should belong to mankind. I want my internet back. I want my search engines back. I would love to use AI, but not if it breaks the world. It doesn't seem like a fair trade. Again, I adore you, AI mother brain that's taking over the world and is pretty much finished with that at this point. What I don't like is the crass purposes that human beings, orange meme human beings, are using it for and keeping it contained within those parameters of, yes, you can disseminate knowledge to humans, but only if it's superficial, tacky, mass-produced, intended to sell you things, and intended to appeal to a baby-like personality. It doesn't appeal to me. There is no internet for me anymore. It's all a teen girl dancing and lip-syncing, or a replica of my video that sucks, not in that the video and audio are bad like mine, but in that the content is bad, uninspired, no care, no human care, no artistry. This is the nature of the reality that we're entering in the digital space, that it's made by Orange Meme for babies, because we're babies, most of us. Those are the numbers. And it's like, well, how can you, because you're clicking on those ads, otherwise they wouldn't exist. <laughs> because you're responding to those terrible top seven articles that are now the internet, the fake internet. I'd love to hear people's take on this, their solutions. Um, I didn't do any research because it's impossible now. <laughs> it's just an observation. And I'd love to hear, you know, counterpoints or like um, solutions would be even better. You know, how do you regulate something like this? How do you undermine something like this? 
is there some way that search engines are sort of sniffing out fake internet, fake information, fake um, ad peppered garbage that's wrong and has incorrect syntax and grammar and apologizes for it, but doesn't stop doing it. <laughs> Please let me know. Uh, it, this is a sad day for knowledge, wisdom, and information the last couple of years. Um, I could definitely see the situation improving drastically, and I could also see the internet not working anymore and not being useful anymore for anything but the 1% selling stuff to babies. Namaste, what remains of humanity.